Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. Today's video is super exciting. It is part two of a collab with the wonderful Anki. So if you haven't seen part one, then you'll find that linked in the description box below or in the cards. One of the two. <laughs> um, anyways, we are collabing on another Build Your Own palette. And if you want to see the theme I chose for Anki, you will need to head over to her channel. Anki chose for me Deep Forest Sunshine. And this here is my... Am I holding it in view? I think so. <laughs> this is my palette, my Deep Forest Sunshine palette. And yeah, I'm going to be doing two looks with this palette. So I will quit talking and pass you on over to look number one. Okay, so I have primed my eyes with the P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Rumor 02. And hmm, for this look, I'm first going to go in to, what are you called? Go into uh, Lethal Cosmetics, Frantic. Hmm. I hadn't actually thought through what it is that I kind of wanted to achieve from this look. So we shall see. And I am super excited to see what Anki has done with the theme that I gave her. Is going to be so much fun. She's going to smash it as always. She is the queen of build your own palettes. And these collabs are so much fun. So, so much fun. I love being able to just be creative. I'm going to say this a lot at the moment. I think where I've been struggling with my health so much, makeup is such an amazingly great therapy. So it just kind of, not only does it take my mind off of the pain of it, but the colors make me feel good like colour therapy yeah something like that I'm literally just stamping this in I haven't not doing any blending yet I still don't really know what it is I want to do but this is where I wanted to start and now I've got that on, I'm just going to gently and just rub over the edges just really light pressure I just want to smudge them a bit there okay so now I'm going to go into esteem this one here from lethal And I'm just going to kind of stamp and wiggle a little bit. Mostly stamp at this point. And these colours just go beautifully together. So I found my theme are uh, like really challenging at this time which don't get me wrong that is a good thing but I really had to think you know, I love that doing these collabs kind of makes you think outside of the box and possibly put together colour stories that you wouldn't think to otherwise Mm. 
and I really didn't need to make a palette this big for two looks but I've always felt stifled by my 12 pound palettes before so I don't even know why I think it's because I see ones that I really want to add but then can't because I don't have the space and then just going back in with the brush used for Again, just kind of wiggling, wiggling around. Just going to pack a bit more of front tape just in that outer V area there. Okay, so I'm going to quickly pop on some NYX glitter primer and then we will continue. So for the outer part of my lid, I'm going in with the Pastel Roses, this is Palm, and I'm going to place that right on this outer, outer part of the lid here. Might bring that a little bit further across actually. This shade is so pretty. I love the shadows from the pastel roses so much. Their mattes are really, really good, but their shimmers, their special shades, it's where they really shine. God, just look at that. That is stunning. Okay, so for the inner part, I'm going to go in with California. This is by the Pastel Roses. I think this is going to look really interesting. This is so pretty. The shadows from the pastel roses, just something really special. Like in pretty much all of their shimmers. Oh, look at that. And I'm just going to tap it over a little bit. No, it's not going to completely blend, but yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult because that has a red shift to it. Okay. I am loving how this is looking. Right, so let's get a little smudgy smudgy brush. I'm going to go back in to what's it called i'm gonna go back into frantic the kind of matte is it like a reddish brown and then i'm just going to take that just on just up against my lower lash line Okay, and then I am going to, hmm, where am I, where am I, I'm going to go into Banana Moon from the Pastel Roses, 
and I'm going to use that to kind of blend out the lower lash line add a bit more sunshine or a bit of sunshine look at that Yeah, I like that. Right. For the inner corner, what do I want to do? I'm going to I'm going to go in with I'm going to go in with Lime Twist from the Pastel Roses. And I'm going to kind of stamp it and then drag it about a bit. I haven't put any glitter primer down, so this is just just the shadow itself. And then I am going to go into Eon by the Terra Moons. Terra Moons. And I'm just going to pop that right up against, right up under my brow there. Perfect. Okay, guys, so I am, I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I will come back to show you finished look number one. So just stay where you are. Okay, guys, so this is finished look number one. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And uh, before I hand you on over to look number two i'll let you know what else i've popped on my face so the blush is from pout and shout and it is contrary mary which is this beautiful kind of brick orange brick red i'm no good at explaining colors um the highlighter i went in with is the kaleidos space age highlighter the mars melter and oh I love this. I love this so much. Um, that was actually Anki's doing. I'd seen her use it so many times, I had to have it. So uh, there's that. And for my winged liner, I went in with, it is one of the Glisten Cosmetics Water Activated Liners, Wet Liner. And this is in the shade Evergreen. This was so kindly gifted to me from Anki. And I love it. And then my lashes. I used the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. I still don't know what I think of this. It gave me better lashes today, but they were clumpy. So we'll just have to uh, wait and see on that one. And then my falsies are from Artitude Cosmetics and they are the Luxury Lashes in the style Artitude. These are beautiful. I love these lashes. And in my waterline, I've gone in with two of the Colourpop Cream Gel Liners. On the outside, I've used UNTZ. And then on the inside, I have used Extra Frosting. So yeah, is that it? No lipstick. The lipstick I went in with is the Melt Matte Lipstick in the shade On The Go. I love these bullet lipsticks from Melt. These, they are fantastic. So, this is look number one and now I will hand you on over to future me for look number two. 
Okay, so I've primed my eyes using the P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Rumor 02. I love that. And first, I am going to go in with Davina Elphaba. I found it really difficult to kind of make up my mind. I think maybe I shouldn't have made such a large palette, but at the same time, I. I couldn't choose between some of them. <laughs> oh dear. This is why I don't do kind of ranking videos because uh, I, I can't choose. Or if I choose, I change my mind like five times in the first two minutes. <laughs> so I don't do that. Plus, I'm relatively new to this uh, building your own palette from your singles, so I'm giving myself a break. <laughs> but Anki, on the other hand, is the absolute master pro at build your own palettes. It amazes me. Just She just does such a fantastic job of it. Whereas, uh, see, looking at this palette now, I'm thinking, do I really see Deep Forest Sunshine? But going back over my reasoning for the shades, the answer is yes. Oh, crikey. I think I've lost the plot. Or as my daughter would say, and always does say to me, you can only lose something if you had it to begin with. So, maybe I haven't lost the plot. Maybe I just never had it. Oh, this is so beautiful. I am an absolute sucker for greens. I can't help myself. I just think it's the most calming colour ever. And they did, um, well there has been a lot of research done into into like, like natural, people viewing natural pictures like trees, forests etc compared to say a, a town, a city and it's kind of built into us to feel more relaxed in more natural settings and green is obviously quite a prominent colour trees, grass so yeah okay and I think I think next I'm going to go in with Lethal Cosmetics Eden. I do love this shade. I think this is one of my favourite shades from Lethal. I'm gonna stamp here first. Trying to be a bit careful of fallout because I have my base done. Okay, I'm gonna bring it through the crease. I'm not that worried about blending because I will more than likely go back in with the first green to do the blending. This is such a pretty shade. Oh, I cannot wait to see Anki's, well, her palette and the looks. It's so exciting. I'm so happy that we've started doing kind of more regular collabs of this style. 
both of us love building our own palettes and by giving each other a theme it helps us to think outside of the box like maybe do things we wouldn't have done otherwise whilst i said i wasn't going to do any blending this is just too easy both of these shadows just perform beautifully so they make well all of it just easy work i think i'm gonna take this just a little bit higher I think it ended up being a bit too a bit too low down I'm just going to dip in just the once and I'm just going to I don't want this shade completely lost Okay, so I think next I'm going to go in with the, the, <laughs> what's it called, Transmutation from Lethal Cosmetics, the black. This is the first time that I will be using this on my eyes. I've obviously swatched it. But yeah, I just want that little bit extra depth. I don't actually want it to kind of look black. I do want the depth. Yes. So I'm just popping on some NYX Glitter Primer. Not necessarily being too precise, or maybe I am. These greens just look so pretty. Okay, and just going to pat over the edge there. Right, so for the lid, I think I am. I'm going to go in with cobwebs from Makeup by Lisa. Is this one here? And I am going to pop that just on the outer part here. Look at that. So we've got like the stones and the rocks, the moss and the trees. Just bringing that so it's kind of kind of halfway. These singles from Makeup by Lisa, I adore this shade in particular. Just look at that. I think my favourite is probably still Spellbound, but this is definitely up there with the greats I sound like I'm talking about like singers the greats Elvis Dolly Parton Prince Michael Jackson no we're talking about eyeshadows <laughs> oh what is wrong with me <laughs> I've lost it Right, for the inner part of my lid, I'm going to go in with Sea Spray, also from Makeup by Lisa. So I haven't used this in a while and I really want to. It's so beautiful. 
And I'm just going to pop that on the rest of my lid where we have left open. So gorgeous, look at that. It's so, so beautiful. Yeah, if any of you are interested in the singles or anything from Makeup by Lisa, I do have a discount code. All of my discount codes are um, listed at the bottom of the description box. So they're all there after every video that I, or in the description box for every video. Yeah, it's not an affiliated, you know, I don't gain anything from it, but it does save you some money. And these are the shadows that I do highly, highly recommend. All of my discount codes are only from brands that I love. So... So I wouldn't want to encourage you guys to like purchase from a company that I didn't I didn't believe in. Okay, so I am going to go back in with Transmutation from Lethal Cosmetics. Just again, just a tiny amount. I just want to kind of tap that in. Okay, so just taking a little smudgy brush, I'm going to dip into Transmutation from Lethal Cosmetics, or am I? Mm, ever so slightly, I'm just going to put the tiniest bit literally right up against my lash line. Okay, and then dipping into Eden from Lethal Cosmetics and I'm going to use that to smudge the black. Just going in with the tiniest bit at a time and then we can kind of join it up to the upper lid there. Okay, now we need a little glass of brush. Will you do? Yes, you will do. Okay, and to blend that out, what am I going to use? Hmm, I'm going to go in with Banana Moon from the Pastel Roses. And then I'm just going to use that to buff everything out under here. Please excuse the kind of change in lighting. The sun is going behind the clouds and then coming back out. I'm just going to take that like really lightly. Just kind of up around the very top edge, right, right on the brow bone. Kind of creating like the sunshine around the edge. And then a tiny bit more of transmutation.
Okay, so for the inner corner and brow bone highlight. All right, so for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with Eon from Terra Moons. And I'm just dabbing that all the way down the inner corner there. And then, oh, actually, I've got an idea for the, let me just, <gasps> Oh, what am I like? All right, I'm backtracking slightly because I want to go in to, what's it called? I want to go in with Snowdrift by Cleona. Cleona, Cleona. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I never know how to say that. And everybody seems to say it differently as well. So I'm just going to pop that on the inner part of my lower lash line. Ooh. <sighs> Loving that. Now back in with Eon from Terra Moons. Um, just going to work that ever so slightly into the lid shade. I think this has to be one of my favorite single shadows. I love, love this shade so much. And then just taking a bit of Eon and placing that all right up under my brow. Please excuse Poppy whinging or <laughs> groaning. <laughs> You're not comfy, Pop. I'm loving how this is looking. So I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I'll come back to show you the finished look and yeah, to say goodbye. So if you'd like to see the finished look, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so this is finished look number two. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. So my hair's sticking to me, I'm so hot. Um, I'll just let you know what else I've popped on my face. So the blush is Juicy Lucy from Pout and Shout. It's a beautiful peachy shade. Then I have the V Cosmetics Divine Highlight. I have been absolutely loving this. Um, right, so eyes. The mascara I used was the Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. I love that. Um, the lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics in the style Angel. I used to stick my lashes on. The Artitude Cosmetics Catitude is their two-in-one liner and lash adhesive. I always find that a mouthful. I don't know why. This is amazing. I love it. To tight line, I used the Fatal Beauty Black Like My Soul Eyeliner. And in my waterline, I went in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Icebreaker. For my lower lashes, I used the Lethal Cosmetics Side Effects Gel Liner in the shade Loop. I love these two. Um, on my lips, I have the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in the shade Cashmere. I just thought it went really well. So, we come to the end. Anki, thank you so, so much for collabing with me. I cannot wait to see your palette and your looks. And 
last look guys so this is have i got it in frame i think so this is my deep forest sunshine palette let me know what you think of it do you think i did a good job um do you think i missed some things let me know in the comment section below so yes thank you so much for joining me today if you've liked this video please give it a like thumbs up that really helps me out if you are not already subscribed to Anki then head on over to her channel the link is in the description box below please 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 go check her out if you don't know who she is she is wonderful and I love her so if you are new if you've come over from Anki's channel hi I'm Steph I love colourful makeup, I support indie brands, I only use cruelty free makeup so yeah if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in please do hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell also because that will notify you when I upload a video. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with words today so I'm going to end here thank you so much for joining me I hope you're all having a great day a great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing I hope you're taking care of yourselves I will see you again very very soon goodbye